Why is the sky blue? Well, the answer relies on what light is made out of. Let's talk about it. So our sun is a white star, and white light comes from our star. Now a lot of people might think that the sun is a yellow star, but the easiest way to prove to yourself that the sunlight is actually white is to take a white piece of paper and go outside. If the sun were yellow, the white piece of paper would look yellow under the yellow light of the sun. But it doesn't, it looks white because the light coming from the sun is white. And white light is made up of a spectrum of colors. Sometimes we call them seven different colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. But really it's a spectrum of colors. And by the way, indigo really isn't there. Sir Isaac Newton, when he first shined white light through a prism, he counted the colors and he counted six colors but he liked the number seven because it corresponded with the seven different tones of music, a do, ra, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. And so he added indigo just to make it seven, but there's actually very little violet in the light that comes from the sun. But for the sake of simplicity, let's just call them the six different colors of light, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. And as these colors of light pass through the atmosphere, they get scattered. Basically what that means is they bounce off particles in the atmosphere and go off all in different directions, but they aren't all scattered evenly. Shorter wavelength light is scattered more than longer wavelength light. So the wavelength is just the distance from one peak to the next peak of light. And that's why blue and violet that have much shorter wavelengths are scattered a lot more than red, orange, and yellow that have much longer wavelengths. So the Earth's atmosphere is actually very thin. If the Earth was the size of an apple, our atmosphere would be as thin as the apple's skin. And so when the sun is directly above us, the light doesn't actually have a lot of atmosphere to get through. And so only blue and violet light is scattered. And so blue and violet light is up there being scattered, filling the sky. And eventually that blue and violet light gets down to our eyes and we see it as blue. That's why the sky is blue, because when the sun is right above us, only blue and violet light gets scattered and it fills the sky and we see it as blue. Things change when the sun is setting though. When the sun is setting, there's actually a lot more atmosphere for that sunlight to pass through before it gets to your eyes. And so a lot more of the light is scattered. All of the blue light gets scattered away. All of the violet light, all of the green light, even some of the yellow light gets scattered away. And so by the time the light gets to you, there's really only like red, orange, and a little bit of yellow that gets to your eye. And that's why the sun looks reddish, orangish yellow when it's near the horizon, when it's setting, because that's, that's the only light that's getting to you. In fact, that's also why the sun looks dimmer when it's setting. It's really bright when it's high up in the sky because a lot of light is getting to us. But when it's setting, when it's low on the horizon, a lot more light is scattered away. And so just less light is getting to us, just a little bit of red, orange, and yellow. And so the sun looks dimmer and reddish orange when it's near the horizon. I think that's so cool. Now you're probably wondering, okay, if there's blue and violet light in the sky, how come we only see it as blue? Well, the reason for that is two reasons. One, our eyes are just way more sensitive to blue light than they are to violet light. And two, the sun actually just makes a lot more blue light than it makes violet light. And so despite there being violet light up in the sky, there's much less of it, and our eyes are just way more sensitive to the blue light than they are to the violet light. By the way, the sky is not blue on all planets. The fact that the sky is blue during daytime on Earth is just because of what our atmosphere is made out of. On a different planet, it might look different. Like Mars, for example, look at this. Their daytime sky is red. In fact, when the sun is setting on Mars, the sun looks blue. That's just because of the different composition of the atmosphere of Earth and the atmosphere of Mars. Also, while we're talking about violet, violet and purple are different things. Violet is an actual color of light. Purple is something that our brain invents. I think that's a really cool concept for a future video where we can talk about how pink doesn't exist, how purple doesn't exist, and how yellow may not be yellow in reality. <laughs> I think this is so cool. I think the way that light behaves and the way that our eyes work is so fascinating. I hope you do too. I hope you found this video interesting. I hope you learned something. If you did, I make these kind of science videos every week. Hit that subscribe button if you want to follow me. Thank you for joining me on this walk. I hope you learned something and stay curious, everybody. Bye.